Right, let me tell you something. When a man wants to get down there, the man will tell you everything you need to hear. Everything you want to hear, he will tell you. I have seen or heard of ladies who will be asking you at that heat. When the man is on heat, that is when you are asking the man, do you love me? When the woman is on heat, that is when you are asking the woman, do you love me? See, anything you want to hear at that time, the person... Welcome to my space again. My name is Augusta Good. Thank you guys for stopping by to watch my video. <laughs> so there is this girl who came up on social media to call out MC Lively. MC Lively is a comedian. He's a young man who is just growing up. Um, he's a comedian. He does this um, Instagram skits and he's doing well. Really, he's doing well. So this young girl came up to um, like call him out saying that um, he impregnated her and he's um, doing away with her. From the from the post, from the screenshot of the message they both they both shared, I I understand something. From the screenshot, first of all, I noticed that the girl was the one forcing herself on MC Lively. I'm not here to talk about the abortion, whether it's good or whether it's bad. They are both adults, and they decide to do it. MC didn't force her to go and do it, like drag her to the. Um, hospital um, she decided like she accepted to do it for him MC can say do it and you say you don't want to do it nobody will do anything to you because it's illegal in Nigeria to have an abortion so uh, I'm talking about the, 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 the kind of relationship they have proud before the abortion from their conversation let me read it because if I if I decide to say it like that, you guys may not understand. You may think I'm taking sides. So I want to read it so that you you from your your own view you understand what I'm Let trying say, to say. Michael, you want us to break up few days after I had an abortion for you. Michael, please stop this. You're hurting me. And then uh, MC Lively said, "Stop nagging. I hate nagging. Stop it, or else I won't say a word to you again." And then the lady said, "But you promised to improve with." Uh, with your communication mike and i said i don't know what to do again what exactly do you want and again i said mike i know i i nag a lot but it's never intentional mike said because you know we can't be together because you know we can't be together so tell me what you want the lady now said i am not just happy that you don't treat me better. For Michael to say, but you know we can't be together, suggests that this lady had known from the onset that they are going nowhere. Like they are going nowhere. You already know this guy did not deceive you. I am trying to talk to other ladies. When you know you're in a real, this is not a relationship. When you know you're getting down with a guy or you're doing anything with a guy, and this guy from the onset, this guy is making you see that you're going nowhere. You're trying to feel like you're trying to push this thing. You're trying to um, do some things like some people will say and hey, get down with him. Where when he sees how good you are in bed, he will change his mind. When he sees how, uh, uh, how good of a wife material you are, he will change his mind. When he sees how beautiful you are, he will change his mind. This man has seen everything. There is a reason why he is saying that. You guys cannot be together. There is a reason why he's saying that he cannot marry you. So when a man tells you who he is, my dear, take it from him. If he say we, are, we can't get married, just accept it. A man who wants you will not want to play with you to see if you will agree or if you will not agree. No, a, a man who wants you will even be scared to even tell you to go. He will be scared because he will feel that if he tells you to go, you will leave him. And he doesn't want to lose you. So for a man to tell you that you know we cannot be together, it shows that you guys are doing no free. You are doing one night stand. You are not serious with anything you're doing. And this lady, both of them, even the mic is a young man, the lady is a young girl. Both of them are... I don't when know. a man tells you what he feels, take it from him. If he say no, we cannot be together. No, I cannot marry you. No, this, no, that. Accept it as it is. Don't try to help to record or dress the relationship you will have yourself to blame tomorrow just like this lady now he said i am not just happy that you don't treat me better listen to what michael now said mc lively now said so 
So is it something that you think will change? Like, I am not ready to change. This is how I'm going to treat you. This is how I am treating you. I am not going to change. Number two, we are not dating. If not, why do you keep acting like we are? Can you imagine? A man who has told you that we cannot be together. A man who has told you that we are not dating. You went there. You opened up for this man. Not just opening up like you want to do a fling or like a, a one night stand. You open up for this guy without protection. Without taking money after. And then you came with pregnancy. I kept saying it in this my channel. Pregnancy is not a guarantee that any man will marry you. Pregnancy, you cannot use to keep any man down. If you force him like you force him, like you really drag him to marry you because you're pregnant, you will have yourself to blame at the end of the day because the man will always feel that you rope him into what he is into and the man will most time, like 90% out of 100, not be faithful to you. You don't, don't continue with a man who tells you that we're going nowhere. Except you just want to play games. Do not continue with any man who tells you you are not going anywhere with him. Nadina said, because I have asked you before whether it's just the sex, but you said no. You said you like the you like and care about me, except you lied. Let me tell you something. When a man wants to get down there, the man will tell you everything you need to hear, everything you want to hear. He will tell you. I have seen or heard of ladies who will be asking you at that heat. When the man is on heat, that is when you are asking the man, do you love me? When the woman is on heat, that is when you are asking the woman, do you love me? See, anything you want to hear at that time, the person will tell you. It is only the disciplined one that will not say anything. Until they are done, they won't say anything. But if you want him to say that, that is the only key that will open the door to your Jerusalem. He will tell you. She will be waiting you want to hear. You are not looking at his character. You are not looking at his body language. You are waiting for what he needs to tell you. Communication is not just by what somebody say. It's, it, it encompasses different things. The body language, the way they are tuned, their voice, the way they are raising their voice, the way they are talking to you, and they have the verbal one, the one they are saying. You have to combine all together to understand what this person is saying. They are all mode of communication. I said, if I like and care about you, does that mean that I will, I will be speaking to you morning, afternoon, night? Did you see where he turned it into? No, now. That's not the lady is speaking. No, now. I am not even asking for that. And when I have work... Okay. MC now said, and when I have work for two days straight, and you, and you have the right not to ask... How was work? Plenty, plenty, plenty. Guys, it's very long and it's not what I can say here in this video. I can't finish everything um, that's, that's happened here. But from what I see here, this lady is pushing herself on MC Lively. MC Lively doesn't want the lady. However, he wants to leak. And so he did. Got the girl pregnant. Um, they had an abortion. And this girl now wanted MC Lively to like maybe continue with Ha. But MC Lively does not want to do this thing out, probably because this is not the kind of girl he wants. And you, the girl, knowing that this man doesn't want you, this man is just keeping you by the side, this man doesn't respect your feelings, this man doesn't treat you like the lady you want to be, this man doesn't have any altar of respect for you, this man is just there. If you don't ask after him, he would not ask after you. If you don't check up on him, he will not check up on you. You're the first person to send him a WhatsApp message. You're the first, first person to call him. He doesn't do that. It's only when you send him a message, he will not take him time to respond. When you send, call him on WhatsApp, sometimes he will not call, uh, uh, take his call, and he may not return the call. Babe, why are you killing yourself? Why are you still sitting down there? What are you sitting down there doing? This person doesn't want you. I know it is difficult i have been there when i was single i have been there i said this story before in one of my videos i have been there when you are emotionally attached to somebody who don't give a who don't keep who don't give one damn about you this person doesn't even know if you exist or not they've led you into a place and they left you in that place high and dry you're just there you're just there in your own feelings why they are catching cruise with somebody else especially this is common when the man is a bit older than the woman and 
this one I'm seeing now, MC Lively is like five years older than this lady. That does not mean that you should not have your sense. When a man, now I'm telling you, because probably I did not see somebody to tell me then, or I did not see somebody to mentor me then, that's why I'm telling you now. When a man shows you who he is, do not try to paint it. Do not try to paint him and try to shift him to what you want him to be. If he say I am black, take him as black. If he says I am white, take him as white. Do not try to paint black, white, or try to paint uh, uh, white, black. Take him as it is. So that you don't end up regretting at the end of this day almost almost towards the end of this chat there was a time where this girl was saying that she was having complications she started bleeding again she wanted money mc sent her fifty thousand. she now have to go and see another gynecologist they have to go and do some scan because probably where they went to before was a cheap place so i don't think they did it well for her so now she's having complications if at the end of the day this girl end up losing her life or her womb a reproductive organ what would happen to her to a man who doesn't care one bit so if you ask you how are you a man you had an abortion for and the man did not even bother to call you to ask you how are you what are you doing with him my dear there are a lot of fishes in the river cast your net right and you will get the fish you want to that is all I have to tell you guys today. Have a lovely day. Thank you for watching my video. I do appreciate it. And please do not forget to subscribe. Click on the notification button so that whenever I upload a new, a new video, you'll be the first to know. Have a lovely day and bye-bye.